In this video, we want to introduce you to the new Woodwork for Inventor Autoplot feature, which is able to embed the automatically generated component's drawing picture inside the component. We also want to talk about how this feature can be used to prepare BOM reports needed in production. Let's say our goal is to create a report that will be used to print a label in the Woodwork for Inventor nesting module using the print by pick function. Let us start with a drawing template that prints a view of the part that includes the notation of edge bands to be glued and the edge bands are numbered according to their gluing sequence number. The drawing should be as simple as possible because there is not much space for the drawing's picture inside the label. In this video, we will use the previously prepared template. The sheet format in which the drawing is output is 75mm high and 105mm long. The space for the view is determined by leaving 11 millimeters from the edges sheet, here the edging sequence numbers will be placed. We order that the view displays information about the edge banding of the part. An edge band order number symbol is created to represent the order number. In this symbol, with the help of the keyword, we will ask you to output the edging sequence number. We do not forget to order to output the direction of the texture. We ask to align the view of the part according to the longest edge and turn it on the side with a smaller area, which means more details in a drawing are seen as visible contours. Other choices are also possible, it depends on the tasks you set for yourself when asked to create by autoplot the drawing. We turn on drawing generation to an IDW file for a few parts and check what kind of result such a drawing template generates. The desired result is obtained. Now let's go back to the drawing template settings and turn off the drawing generation to IDW type file. We choose to export the information to a bitmap image, set the size of the output image, and request that the image be included inside the component for which the drawing is generated during printing. Now you can proceed to create the Excel report template. We will again use the already created template, we will only comment on how the template is built and what is output in it. First, let's start by saying that the template is for printing from the woodwork for inventor shape nesting module, so the specification type is set to nesting list type report. Also is specified that the nesting piece instance table will be created. Below, under the keyword table data description, it is indicated how to arrange the data on the printable card. The barcode of the item is displayed in the upper part. After printing and sticking such a label on the part, it will be possible to use the barcode scanner for a label. In the middle part, the embedded component drawing image is output. This is done with the help of the drawing sheet image keyword. The number in parentheses indicates the size of the image to be output. Below is a table showing the edge bands. For each edge band, the covering order number and the main properties of that edge are displayed, color code, thickness, and tape width. And the last table displays part size, material code and name, color code and name.
So, such report template that we will use to print the labels. We move on to preparing information for the nesting module. Let's back to the product for which we are preparing the shape nesting cutting programs. First, let's prepare CNC technologies for individual parts. We will prepare the programs automatically and use the auto CNC function. Say we will work with a machine that uses WoodWop. In the next step, we run the autoplot function with a drawing template that embeds pictures inside the part. Now we can move on to the shape nesting module. If necessary, we can change the layout of placed parts on the sheet or other shape cutting parameters. In the print settings, in the print by pick tab, we set the Excel report template discussed above. We generate a CNC program for sheet processing. Let's say that the machining of the board is already done, and you need to print labels for each part. In shape nesting module we switch to print by pick mode. The printer set for the demonstration is a PDF printer, but in reality, it will be a label printer near the CNC machine. Let's pick a part on the screen. A label of part is printed according to the provided template. Thus, after the parts are cut from the sheet on the machine, the operator prints labels and sticks them on the cut parts. This is just one idea of how you can use functionality that allows drawing images to embed inside a component, then output it in reports. We hope this video inspires new ideas on how to use this new feature. Thank you for your attention.